piggy people so today I am going to be cleaning cages and giving you updates as I go along because maybe you can already tell that things are a little bit different for the setup so I have a lot of updates so, so as I go around cleaning each cage section I'll give you the updates that pertain to that piggy so first here we're gonna start with Annabelle so Annabelle is being wild. I really think the hormone issue that Annalise was dealing with before must be kind of within the family because now it's really obvious that she's not very happy with how things are going. She's really moody and really crabby towards her sister being next door like insanely crabby where her sister is totally normal. So I do have her set up to get spayed beginning of the new year. So I think it's January 7th. I want her to be as happy as her sister is now. Cause right now she just seems like an absolute grouch. And it just is really obvious because I've seen so many positive changes with Annie that now I can really tell that, yeah, she needs to be spayed too. So that's what we're going to do because my goal is maybe after she's spayed, she can go back with her sister possibly. And then if I'm getting really creative, maybe she could go back with Angus and Autumn as well not go back with but be introduced with Angus and Autumn like the four of them like I originally wanted could that happen maybe because as you'll see Annie's here and then Angus and Autumn are next door and before those guys couldn't see each other without freaking out and it's like a new pig right here Annie just does not react to anybody she's very friendly with them and Angus is an reacting bad to her either so it's really crazy really really crazy change hi sweetheart so now the only crazy one is miss annabelle here so i think we can do something to help her there because i told you guys before where uh, the family couldn't even look at each other without everybody freaking out but now angus autumn and Annie are have no problems being neighbors and touching noses, eating hay next to each other. So I'm hoping that once we spay Annabelle, that she'll be a lot calmer and a lot happier. Even if she can't go with her sister, at least if they can live peacefully side by side. Because as soon as I moved Annabelle over, to beside her sister, she was just insane and so grouchy. Okay, I don't know why you freak out so bad. She's so weird. You're so dramatic. We do this like twice a week. Okay, what's worse, hon? Okay, you're just being ridiculous. We'll get it over really quick then. Okay, you're just being nuts. Okay, stop, hon. Like, you're just, she's just absolutely, I was gonna say a bad word, bat crap crazy, but. My goodness. Okay, you can calm your little self down. Yikes. Goodness, she's dramatic. Look at this new bed we got from Budget Bunny. So these are her little cozy caves. They're really cute. They have foam in them. She gave this to me for my birthday because I do know Budget Bunny in person. So if you guys wanna check out her shop, or any other shop I enjoy. Links are down below. So I just link the shops that I've personally bought from and I can tell you that the quality is awesome. So those are down in the description box. 
So yeah, so Annabelle right now, there's um, this high of plexiglass between her and her sister. Because as soon as I moved her over here and moved Annie over there, she was just going absolutely mental against the grid, snorting, chattering, posturing, trying to like dive at the grids. Like, it was insane. So needless to say, I just think she's crazy with her hormones too because the whole time where she was absolutely being insane, Annie was just staring at her like no big deal and normally Annie would have been joining in on that crazy and she has no reactions now which is great. So we got rid of one crazy pig and now we just have this one left. So we'll see what we can do. I think we will use this. This is a piggy wood bowl from Valerie's Cozy Shop and Piggy Stop. I love these. So if you're looking to buy from Valerie, she does pre-made sales on her Facebook page. So that's where you should go to follow her so that you can see what's going on. She also has um, Instagram as well and a YouTube channel. I don't think she's made a video recently, but you can check it out. And uh, this liner is from Cindy's Cozy Co. That liner is from Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box. And same with this uh, cuff tunnel is Zoe and Lilo's. All the shops I'm mentioning are lovely people. So you guys should check them out if you want to. Okay, so let's get her some hay. Sweetheart, we got you hay. Okay. So now we're moving on to Annie. And you might be wondering, why is Annie over here and not over here? Well, when I decided that Annabelle should be taken away from the back corner and put up front so that she would have more socializing happening, I decided if I am going to rearrange all these cages, I'm going to do introductions, with Annie to the herd to see, can she live with them? Can she not? So the long and short of it is, she cannot, but we were very close. She did really, really well meeting the six pigs. So everybody in the herd was really accepting of her. But Annie, through and through, is a boss. So we did intros on a Friday night, started at 6.30 p.m. And I had to end it at four in the morning. So we went pretty far. I think it went as far as it did because she had to slowly work her way through each pig to see where she stood with them. So like she started with the lowest pig and then worked her way up the totem pole. And her issue was with Huckman because Huckle is the top pig. Huckle is the king and then Pecan is the queen. So, oh, that's weird. That's stuck on there. That must've got stuck in the dryer. So, uh, at first, she had a problem with Huckle, but there was no fighting. It was just kind of intense moments, but they'd go from being a bit intense to her relaxing, which was fine. But then finally, after she had worked through all the other pigs, it was, you know, the final thing of she didn't want to back down. Huckle did not want to back down. So they just were getting into pretty intense fights and I stopped it right before they were absolutely going to rip each other apart. Which really sucked because before that, 
There was lots of times where Annie was just eating with the entire herd, like there was no big deal. So I really thought at one point that we were gonna make it, but evidently when it all came to push or shove, she did not want Huckle to be the boss of her. Hey, sweetie. Oh, you're so cute. Little piggy. And, you know, that's kind of where it ended. Uh, everybody did really well together for not fighting and stuff like that. So I was really impressed. It was a decent introduction, but, you know, you can't make them get along. If she doesn't want to listen to Huckle, she's not going to listen to him. And evidently, he was not going to let her be in charge. So they just couldn't jive together, which stinks. But that's the way things go, I guess. Actually, I want to put you back this way. Where did I have your haybock? Oh, I had it at the end. So I decided to move her over here for a few reasons. She can still see the herd through this one grid panel. And I wanted to see what her reaction was to Angus and Autumn now that she's spayed, because I hadn't seen that yet. And as I explained earlier, it was really positive. Like they were eating hay, all three of them right here. Nobody was having a bad reaction, so that was really cool. So my plan now is if Annie get, Annabelle gets spayed and calms down just like her sister, minimum, could I have these two back together? Maximum, could I do the four of them? So that's the, our future plans. Even if like worst case scenario, she calms down, but they still don't get along. At least they're going to be friends through the grids and not be so intense through the grids. Because right now, like I can't not have that plexiglass there, which sucks, which I would just like them to be happy and peaceful. And the really cool thing is Angus is totally fine seeing the herd through his section, too. It's really weird but everybody seems calm except for Annabelle. So, you know, we tried with the herd. It didn't happen. I was definitely disappointed at first, but then after I was like, okay, you know, there's no sense being upset about it. I tried, maybe there are other options because really it's just night and day with how calm she is now. So we'll see what happens, guys. Do you think you can live with your mom? That'd be nice. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna move on to Angus and Autumn next. Their cage is a little bit trickier. I have to go around that side So I decided to move these guys over here because I wanted everything to look neat and tidy and having the herd's cage just be an L shape with no pigs sectioning it off over there is what I prefer. And then also, as I said, I wanted to try Annie near these guys again. I keep changing my game plans, but it would be cool if this whole part one day could be open, who knows? That could be wishful thinking once again. But the really cool thing is, it's nice that these two get to socialize with her and they all are, oh, I'm talking too fast, oh my goodness. And they actually can socialize with the herd. The plexiglass is only like three inches tall here, just so they don't try chewing the bars at the bottom. But shockingly, even though there's another male over here, Angus has not had any reaction to it. And both of these two just crack me up when somebody's laying in this cuddle cup here. They're both literally just staring like, who's that? And they have their little feet up on the bars here, just staring. What's over there? You guys snooping?
wearing. Not doing anything aggressive or upset or anything like that. It's really adorable. So that makes me happy because the more they get to socialize with other pigs, I think the better it is for everybody, right? It's something different to break up their day, to see who's over here, to see what they're doing. So, and like, that right there is just insane to me. Because there's so many times where I tried to have plexiglass down back when they were over that way, that it was just instant fight. And like, you could cut the tension with a knife as soon as they could smell and see each other. And now it's like, no big thing. So I like it. I'm very happy about how everything is going. The only pig I feel bad about is Annabelle because I can just tell that her mood is just not the best. I think I didn't notice it as much before because Annie really overpowered her with her behavior. So I always thought Annie was the only one who was really nuts when really it was obviously both of them. But that's fine. We will do what we can to switch things up for their Annabelle and at least get her so she can be friendly through the bars with her sister. They don't have to live together, but if she can at least socialize with another pig through the bars friendly, that would be a win in my books. So at the end of the day, all I ever want for my piggies is for everybody to be happy and not stressed. So right now I just feel like Annabelle is the only one who I would say is stressed. Okay kids, can you go over? Can you go over little naked man? Thank you. You two are so cute together. Oops, he spilled poops on your fresh liner. Okay, maybe we'll do flowers on one side, peas on the other. What do you guys think? So their section is proving to be the most awkward. I need to get another step stool so that I have one over on this side. So like the hardest part is just to reach that one, one section there. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm having some issues. Maybe I could use this. Not really. Come on. Okay, I gotta take this water bottle off. Okay, that's better. Okay, little munchkins. Put your pellets, oh, I better put this back. Cause the only thing Autumn will do is if she can reach these very bottom sections of grid, she does chew it, but she doesn't chew if she's standing up. So I don't want any teeth to get broken. Okay, and now I just gotta get them some beds. I'll put them a hay pile by Annie. can snack together. What do you think? Hi, sweetie. Okay, so we're gonna do, I always make sure I put one bed for Angus to go in that he'll be nice and warm. This one is from Valerie. And we actually, this was another print that we used to have that she had did for, done for us. And it actually has the same polka dot print on the other side. So this pad will be perfect. Some of my older prints 
Like I had to pick between what's my favorite because I get crazy with wanting every single print of life. Hi. Hi, gorgeous. So I did sell a lot of my other prints secondhand to a couple nice people over the years. So that was one print that I did sell. It was like a woodland print. It was really cute. So this is a corner house from Cindy's Cozy Co. And if you ever get a chance to get one from her, you really should. They are awesome. They're really fun. And uh, Valerie's Zoo is doing um, corner cuddle cups that have foam. I haven't got one yet, but hopefully I will be able to buy one soon, which will be fun to try out. Nothing beats having piggies that are warm and cozy. These are little bees that Valerie did for us that go on one of our piggy wood bowls. So they're just sitting up here right at the moment. Okay, so that's it for these guys. And as you can see, calm, calmness. I love it. Hi, tubbies. Okay, so we're gonna do the herd next. And as you can see, the herd has one big long L. So I'm so much happier with this. When Annie was right here, it made like a one by three pathway here, which was starting to get congested with pigs so I didn't really like that. And then this section here was blocked off for the other guys. So I kind of just felt like things were messy. And I'm definitely a perfectionist for like liking everything to be as neat and tidy as possible. And this cage is a bomb because this is where our introductions were done. So there's just crap everywhere, mixed, matched cuddle cups and stuff. Cause when I first did intros, I did not have any beds in here at all. No tunnels, nothing. Just loads and loads and loads of hay piles. Because I don't put in any beds or anything until introductions are starting to go well. Where they're trusting each other and you can trust that they can be near each other. Which we didn't get there, so... So I will be glad to clean this cage because this is the first time cleaning it since we tried the intros. And when I do introductions in the cage, the cage is completely cleaned. So I take vinegar and water solution and clean all of the coroplast. I even wipe it down some of the grids, wipe the plexiglass, everything to get rid of scents. And then I bring out obviously brand new fleece and then just do hay piles so that nothing belongs to anybody. So, hi. So Apple, we already probably did our update video where she has to possibly go to get her stones flushed out to see if we can move them, which stinks. Every day I see her, I keep thinking like, oh, is your stone gonna be gone? Are we gonna be lucky? Not yet, guys. So we just started, um, Valerie sent us some stone breaker. So it's this herbal capsule that you can just mix with water. She already had some. We're trying to get all of this through her. So it's all natural ingredients to really promote the bladder to flush, like diuretics and all that kind of good stuff in there. So we're starting that with her as like a last ditch effort of trying to get those stones out. So tonight I'm gonna give her another bum soak, which is another thing that like I've been trying to do to get them out, load her up on vegetables so she has lots of water in her system and try to get the stones out with the comfort of being in a warm tub. But so far, nothing has happened and it's very frustrating and it's hard not to be nervous because obviously the wine complications of the stones are what if they get stuck in a position where it's blocking her ability to pee because that would turn into an emergency and I don't like the thought of that. But so I would just love, love, love to see them come out. 
I would much rather do that than go ahead with the kind of flush thing that we're booked in for just because it didn't sound like it for sure would be like a solution to it. It was more of like something else we could try. I don't know. Okay, so I've got Apple out. Let's see her bum. So, as you can see, she's peeing on herself again. So that was one of the telltale signs that she had stones, but once we gave her the Medicam, she stopped doing that. But now, just the last little bit here, she's been starting to do that again. So I wonder if the stones are in a different spot. So I'm gonna be giving her the stone breaker with water here and then we'll be putting her in the tub just she's kind of one of those pigs if she doesn't want to take stuff she will let it pour out of her mouth but she actually doesn't mind this flavor but she just is really bad for not swallowing you know they're swallowing when they're chewing even when it's just liquids little chew to swallow so she's letting some of it come out which is really annoying she can be a real butt yeah you can and you know it sometimes if you wiggle the syringe in there she'll automatically chew so she'll be swallowing, which is better than keeping it still. Because when we keep it still, she stays still and I can watch it pour out of her mouth a lot more. Okay. So I'm going to set her in here. Let's check the temperature. So it is tilted so that her bum's going to be covered. And I have pads on the front to keep her upper body out of the water. Well, like, so that she's not scared and she has some traction but as for her bum down here i want it all in the warm water and down on an angle so she's peeing so she's just gonna have to hang out here and i'm gonna be right here cleaning their cage and watching her you would never leave your piggy in water and not be paying attention so oh actually next i'm gonna grab velvet for her feet to put her cream on her feet. Where's my Velvy? There she is. Hey, big baby. There's my big girl. Hi. Good job. You're doing good. Now, I know Apple doesn't enjoy this, but it's one of those things like, what can you do? I'm just trying to make it as comfortable as possible for her to pee. There we go, Velvy. Wasn't Velvet such a sweet pig? It's lifting her foot up out back and she doesn't care. Okay, and we'll do your other one. Good girl. There we go. And while I have her out, check her eyes. Her fur really comes up around her eyes. 
Check your little ears. Oh, we got a little bit of wax hanging out. Okay, good girl. She is a handful. She is such a big pig. Here we go. Hey, Tubbies. You're okay, sweetie. Just a little longer. Just gonna put everybody on this really pretty bell. I love this one. So now I've got to figure out how to organize this cage nicely. Figure out where to put their food and all their beds and everything. And it's always fun to change the cage up, like how you organize it every time. So that it's something different for them to explore and search. So once Apple's done being in there, then we go and dry her off and she'll come back to the cage. I'll probably try to give her a bit more of that stone breaker stuff. I always wish that while she's in there, she would pee out a stone. It would be so easy to see in there. Okay, so there's plexiglass over there. Hmm. Ooh, smart. Start flipping them that way. Heck yeah. You can't come out. You gotta keep your little tushy in there, okay? You just gotta scrub your... Just scrubbing the fur by your bum to get kind of that pee out. You're okay. I know you hate it. Where are you, Tubbies? Hi. Good girl. How are you doing? Kind of wanted your bum. You're okay. I wanted your bum back there, okay? Oops. I really need to put clothes pins on those to keep those up. So I have plexiglass around the coroplast because um, Apple and Huffle are the coroplast chewers and I don't like them eating that and chewing it. So we have a bit of a gap here because this cage is a bit off on the sizes. So I'll just have to put smaller pads right across there. Okay, choo choo, everybody come over. Oh, this is heavy. How much do you piggies weigh? Everybody over. Good job. Other way, Vovey. Good girl, Apple. She's peeing. 
Push it out. Push it out. They've got to be close. Doing great, sweetheart. We're almost done, okay? Will you stay on and stay on the pad, sweetie? I'll get you out in a second. Sweetie. You stay on the pad, okay? You stay right there. Yeah, you can hop up here if you want. I'll get you in a second. Okay? You guys stay there. I'll shake this out in a bit. Almost done, sweetie. The longer you sit in there, the better. Even though you don't like it.
a few minutes, sweetie. watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!